Hey what's up you guys, Fezzo here, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video I'm going to teach you guys how to make real nice cringe materials on Stemo 40. Uh, with this material you can create a real nice 3D text and you can use it on your banner and you can create a real nice 3D uh, cringe uh, YouTube banner. So let's open this Stemo 40 and get started. Before I'm going to start this tutorial I want to show you the example of the material. As you can see I put the material uh, into the text it looks really cool as you can see and uh, if you want to create this uh, material you don't need the, any plugins or anything like that you only need the textures which is I put the download link in the description below I downloaded uh, about 36 textures for you and let's open and I want to sh uh, show you the few of them as you can see it looks really cool I put the download link in the description below it's for free just download it and open the demo 4d and open your Lightroom and get started first I'm going to delete these two texts and material over there and go over the material area and just double click on it and create a new material and double click on the material and open the material editor First I'm going to make this material icons a little bit bigger by this just right click on the material and go over the select open window and this little windows pop up just make it a little bit bigger and you can see your material better in this window just go over the color and go over the texture drop down and select load image and open your texture pack I'm going to make it extra large icons and select the first material, uh, first texture, click open and this windows pop up just click no and go over the texture drop down again this time I'm going to select the layer and click on the layer button and I'm going to make my uh, texture a little bit darker just go over the effect and select hue saturation and change the saturation about minus 100% as you can see it looks uh, darker and if you want to uh, make colorful materials just put the uh, saturation 0% per uh, 0 or maybe 10% just like that you can get a colorful material with this but I'm going to make it a minus 100% and go over the image and select different textures uh, I'm going to select this one over there just double click on it and click no and go over to this drop down and select overlay and change the opposite about 70% looks great then go over the image again and select the different textures this time I'm going to choose let me see this one or I'm going to select this one right there to select this one click no and go over this drop down again and select overlay and change the opposite about 45% 45 45% work great go over the image again and select different textures this time I'm going to select this one over there just double click on it click no I'm going to make it darker by this go to effect use saturation change the saturation minus 100% go over this drop down select overlay again and I'm going to change it 20% opposite looks great so if you want to add uh, extra textures just go over the image and select your texture but I'm done with these textures so just go over the divisions click on it and go over the texture drop down and select load image I'm going to load this texture over there click open click no go over the mix rate make it about let me see 25 
mix rate 25 percent looks great and go over the luminance and change the brightness about one person it's give you really nice uh, lighting effect go over the bump and go over the texture load image and load the same texture in the diffusion option I mean this uh, texture click open click no and make it let me see you can make it 100% or minus 100%. It's give you a real nice effect. But I'm going to choose, let me see, about, make it 50%. Looks great. And go over the displacement. Check this. Go to texture drop down. Select the same material. Click no. And go over the straight and select. 20% and go over the texture drop down again this time I'm going to select noise and go over the uh, click noise button right here and in this window you can select a bunch of noises you can find a lot of noises right there but my favorite is electric which is right there electric and second one is turbulence in this video i'm going to use turbulence noise to select it and go over the global scale and make it 200 percent just like that it's give you a nice effect and when you finish with displacement uh, i'm going to make the straight about 25 percent okay looks great and uh, when you finish with displacement just close this window we don't need this window anymore and uh, right click on your material icon and select object gi mode and it's give you a nice material and uh, hold right click on your mouse and change the and rotate your material this position just like that and close this window and let's try our material I'm going to make text just click more text and I'm going to add fill it gap a little bit fast go with the object make the depth 100 centimeter put it into the middle and write your text I'm going to use this font looks great zoom in a little bit and put your material into the text select your material go over the tag change the projection cubic and make sure the seamless is checked so let's uh, rotate our text a little bit like that okay let's render it put this render button and as you can see you will get a really nice grunge material and you can use it on your banner and you can create a really nice grungy banner if you want and if you want to add more texture on your material just open your material go over the color and select layer and select image and you can add the extra texture on your material and you can also make a colorful material by changing the saturation 0% or 10% if you want okay guys that's all here you created the nice here we created the nice grungy material as you can see it looks really cool so thanks for watching guys and make sure you like the video and see you guys in the next video bye